uh, I belong to the tradition of the royal tradition. And uh, uh, so my poetry, when I read my poems, they have to be allowed. Uh, I cannot read my poems in silence. Uh, even though you know, I'm, I'm in, 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 in airplanes, you know, <laughs> I will be reading the poetry and I will read it aloud uh, because I will be you know, whispering the poetry. Because poetry, is, I really believe, has to do with the sense of communicating. And the, the idea of, of uh, breathing the poem, uh, so even life to the poem is important. And so the world tradition is very important. And it's very interesting that my, most of my poems, they don't fit the traditional scheme of uh, either English or Spanish, because uh, they're not rhyming, most of the poems. And, they're, and most poetry written for children are set in, in, in basically in, in stanzas of four uh, lines. My poems are mostly stanzas of three. And I believe, you know, I come to the conclusion, the reason why I use three uh, verses in a, in, a, in a stanza, because number three gives you a sense of, uh, of incompleteness. The idea of almost hugging there, you know? And so the question for me of poetry is really more of a question than an answer. My poetry doesn't really provide answers. Uh, uh, they're really posing questions. And I think the reader becomes engaged in this challenging process. Uh, and so, uh, yes, being, uh, uh, being a, a, a poet of the oral tradition means that my poems are totally oral.